Hey everybody, Jay Adams here, and I'm back with another video for you guys. In this video, I will be doing something a little different, something I just recently got into, and that is tier list ranking. And in this particular video, I'm going to be covering metalcore bands and metalcore bands from about probably 2003 to 2010 is the era that they got big in. And before I get into the video, how I'm ranking these is basically just not sure if I don't know their music. Dislike it, you know what that means, okay, good, pretty good, and love. And with that said, we're going to get started. And to start off is Asking Xandria, which is the band I'm repping here. And this is from the Reckless and Rentless era of Asking Xandria. And with that said, they're immediately going into the love category. They are a top 10 favorite band of all time for me. I love their stand-up and scream record all the way through. Reckless and Relentless, of course, all the way through, and from Death and Destiny, there's not a bad song on all those three records, really. And the album that they did with Dennis, the fourth one, The Black, I really didn't care for that album as much. And then their newest album is really, really growing on me. The comeback album with Danny Warsnup, really, really cool. And uh, moving on to While She Sleeps, I'm just going to put them in Not Sure, really have not heard them. I've heard the name, that's about it. Periphery, eh. wow, okay, I don't recognize this logo at all, so somebody please help me out, uh, I don't know what that logo is, so I probably don't know who the band is, I'd be kind of damned if I did know who the band is, though. so let me know in the comments who that is, and then we have We Came As Romans, ah, I'm gonna put them in good, no, not pretty good, good, uh, you know, just one of those bands I, I like, like, I don't know them by albums, I just know songs, and they have a few good songs I really like. As Like Dying, pretty good actually, I'm gonna put. Uh, saw them live with Asking Xandra back at the Lecture Factory in Philadelphia in 2013, right before Tim Lovessis went to jail and all that, and they were absolutely incredible. Um, the only album I really ever, I think, listened to all the way through is an Ocean, Oceans Between Us. Uh, had, I think, like, through Struggle on it, if I'm not mistaken, and, like, Darkest Nights on it, which are incredibly moving tracks. Parallels is one of my favorite songs by them. Uh, 94 Hours is another really good jam. They have a lot of good jams and a lot of, a lot of really powerful tracks, really ripping guitar, great clean vocals at the choruses. Really the predecessor of that first wave of metalcore, if you want to, the first wave, if you want to call it that. And so they go into pretty good for me. Uh, can't, oh, that's Miss May I, oh, okay. Couldn't read the logo and down in the black here. Um, I'm going to put them in good. Um, not a, a major, major, major huge fan, but like I definitely like their music. Uh, I like their Monuments record, uh, especially... Relentless Chaos and uh, Gears from that record are particularly the standouts. Go check out that album. And uh, I got to meet Levi, the lead vocalist at Rock on the Rage as well, at an after party. Uh, met him at the bar section. I just sat down and dr had a few drinks with him for about 10, 15 minutes. Had a nice conversation. Super down to earth guy. Mooshless in white. All right, cool. I'm going to put them in pretty good. And that's mainly because of the Creatures album. That album is... One of my favorite albums of all time, top to bottom. Not a single bad track. The uh, title track, Creatures, is absolutely crushing and amazing. But after that, uh, I really don't like them by full albums. It's more or less just various different songs that I liked by them. And I did meet them at Warped Horn Year, and they were incredibly nice and everything. So they got pretty good. And uh, next band is Trivium. First heard them on... Madden 09, uh, Into the Mouth Hell We March, did see them live in 2013 at the Lancaster Convention Center, I believe that's just what it's called, or the Marriott or whatever, with Asking Xandria, Reckless Fest, Emotional Slim White was on that as well, and they were incredible too. But they're going to go into, oof, I'm going to put them in good, just because there's not too many albums I know all the way through, and... It's not like they're like absolutely super high on my favorite all-time bands list, but I think they're damn good. Uh, Parkway Drive, I really like their song Unrest, but really besides that, eh, they're not bad, but 
But they're gonna go into okay. It's a to remember. Uh, don't really know. Again, don't really not a band I know by albums, but they write some really really good songs, and they are very very unique, which I really like. Uh, strong songwriters, as I just said. Uh, I would put them in probably the good category then. So far, nobody. I don't dislike anybody so far, which is great. Uh, a Mice of Men. I'm gonna go with good uh, again, like all the other bands in good. Uh, like, I don't know them by full albums really, and I can't read. What's that say? A World Alive. Uh, not really my thing. They're just gonna go into dislike. Bring Me Horizon. If now, okay. If you were to ask me before Sepulchral Eternal, that's where they would go. But uh, Sepulchral Eternal on gets them into pretty good. Uh, Memphis Mayfire, just not really that into. I like Miles Away. We got Black Veil Brides. Um, so people that don't know me and um, they are my favorite band of all time. Um, a lot of people do know that. So obviously they get into the love category. Some people might be disappointed that I put them there, but I don't care. They're my favorite band. Uh, I do not think, however, I think they're a metalcore influence band. I never thought they were a metalcore band, though. Put down in the comments if you think they're a metalcore band or not. I want to know what your opinion is on that. I'm, I'm in a music video with Jake Pitts, uh, his side project band, uh, Lonia, uh, a song called Crazy X. Check that out. Uh, it's on YouTube. Uh, you can see my funny faces and stuff like that. And then, wow, we're, we're, we're I, I feel like this is, this is weird, I didn't intentionally do this, but Bullet Fred Valentine, third favorite band of all time, uh, I cover a lot of their stuff on the guitar and sing it, I get compared to Matt Tuck a lot, vocally speaking, um, my band Ocean, we also get compared to Bullet Fred, uh, my Valentine quite a bit, if we're not getting compared to Iron Maiden or Molly Crew, that's usually the other one, uh, their first three records, The Poison, Screaming Fire, Fever, not really a bad song on those three records. And then uh, Avenged Sevenfold, I, I swear I didn't do this. This is my second favorite band of all time, so you know where they're going. Nightmare is my absolute favorite record by them, top to bottom. Every song is honestly like a B plus or maybe even an A grade for me on that record. Go check that out. Their self-titled record is really, really phenomenal, top to bottom. City of Evil, that's like, I think the album that really broke them out into like real like, like rock stars. Aha, okay. Did find a band that hiding in there. It's Kill Switch Engage. They're gonna go in good. So I see stars. Now if you would have asked me about mm, seven years ago or so, they would go here. Good. I love Digital Renegade. It, like from top to bottom. It is such an amazing freaking album. Like like probably the best electronica post hardcore metalcore record ever, maybe other than like stand up and scream. I and just as a disclosure, you know, I mean, my opinion, uh, this is just my opinion, you know, of course, keep doing what you do, make the art you want to make. If you guys like this video, then feel free to subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down if you didn't like it as well. Comment any suggestions you might have, any covers you might want me to do, any tier lists you might like, might want me to do in the future. If you're an artist or you want me to react to any songs, whether that's a music video or audio or track or a lyric video then let me know give me suggestions in the comment section below and I will listen to that and maybe make a video of it as well and I just most importantly want to hear from you guys I want to hear if my hat is lame uh, if I'm lame if, if my hair should be straighter or if my beard should be shaved or, or my five o'clock shadow should be shaved uh, yeah let me know I want to hear from you guys and I hope you guys have a good day Jay Adams out